I wonder what we can do for today's weekly challenge. I really got no ideas. But I need to come up with something really good for Kelvin and I to do. Hmm. Ouch! What was that? Did a stick just hit me on the head? Wait a minute! Oh, I've got an idea! This is going to be amazing! I've got to find Kelvin now! Judges decide who wins. More special guest judges. More special guest judges, Kelvin. It's very exciting. Yes. Oh, don't tell me there's a forfeit this week. Well, of course there's a forfeit. There has to be a forfeit. <laughs> I want there to be a forfeit. <laughs> oh, what is it? So, I already knew what this was going to be. I have a clown outfit. Clown outfit. A clown outfit with big shoes and a big coat and a flower. And so the person who loses this challenge has to dress up as a clown and do a routine. Uh, right, extra motivation <laughs> to win this week. I have my self portrait nature skills on point. I cannot lose this one. Oh, you're in for a battle though, Kelvin, because I'm going to be working hard this week. <laughs> okay, right. So first of all, we have to gather our materials. Yep. And then we're going to find a space for each other to make our own sort of contracts. Yes. And then the judges will decide. Okay, right. You ready? I'm ready. Are you guys ready? Great! Here we go! Let's go! Right, so now I'm going to go find some natural materials to make this face. Wish me luck. I've got a lovely shopping trolley here. I want to put all my materials in the trolley. I wonder what we are going to pick up. So I've really got to think about the features of my face. I've got my eyes, nose, my mouth, and my, oh, I was gonna say my hair, which is very long at the moment, look at my hair. <gasps> very, very long. Right, so I wonder what I'm going to find try and make this self-portrait. I think I'm going to try and find some twigs for the outline of the face. Um, maybe go for some grass for the hair, perhaps. Um, yeah, we'll see. We'll see what we can pick up. Lots of lovely pine cones here and I think these might be quite good. Um, Maybe the pupils 
into my eyes. So, definitely going to pick up a pine cone. Or a few. <laughs> right, I've found this lovely little piece of wood here. So I think that might be useful for something. Oh, more wood. Right, there's some lovely twigs here. I am going to collect for the outline of my face. Definitely going to need some of those. Some of these really lovely leaves, which I think my self portrait could do with a little bit of colour. So I think these leaves are going to go really, really well. Interesting. I'll take two of these. That's a very nice yellow leaf. Very interesting. Keep that. That could provide something interesting, couldn't it? Could use a hoop somehow. Maybe, maybe for the outline of my face. My trolley. Right, I think it's now time to bring our materials and start creating the self portrait. Hi everyone, it's Vicky here. So to find all the things I need for my self-portrait, I'm going to go for a little walk around the orchard. Let's go. So there's lots of things around here that I can pick up. Let's look for some good twigs, some good branches. Um, Maybe that one looks good. So I need to find things to make my hair, and my glasses, and my eyes. Let's keep walking. Aha. Maybe I could use some brown leaves for my hair. I need lots of these if I'm going to use these for hair. if I need that. Mm. What's this? 
Oh, that's a lot of twig. Look at this. Maybe I could break that up. Let's put that in my bag. Do you know, it's so nice. Now the weather is nice and dry and sunny to just walk around in the orchard. Look at how pretty everything is. Hmm. I'm gonna need something good for eyes. Maybe a couple of these leaves. They look nice, don't they? Oh, that's a thorn. Hmm. Let's see. Let's find some friendlier leaves. <gasps> oh, look, there's lots of brown leaves here. I'm gonna pick up some of these. These will be great. more though. Let's see. Oh, there's a little leaf here. That might be good for an eye. Can I find one similar? Hmm. I'm going to keep looking until I find a good one. Ooh, these two look good. Aha, two little eyes. I wonder if this straw would be good. It's a nice colour. Let's put that in the bag as well. I love a reason to go for a nice walk. I can use one of these or a few of these to make a little nose. What do you think? Let's take one of these. What do you think? Is that a good nose? <laughs> hmm. This looks really nice. What do you think? Could this be some hair? <laughs> Look, my bow is getting nice and full of things now. Oh, let's get some more of this. These really, really dry, almost straw-like branches. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with it. But it might come in useful. I think I'm going to get some more of this as well. Mm, I want some dry ones. Don't want muddy ones. That'll do. What about some little wood chips? sure what I can use them for but they might come in handy and a lot of these short twigs might come in handy too like this some of these are even covered in moss oh wow Ooh, I might have to um, nab one of those I might, I might not even use it for my portrait but I think they look so cool. Here we go. Right, I think I've got a lot of stuff now. I've probably got too much. 
probably got more than I need. So I'm gonna head back to the roundhouse and get started on my self-portrait. Here we are, I've got my blank canvas. It's time to start creating. So maybe I should start with some hair. So I've got these lovely branches and I'll start putting down some hair. Good for the hair. <laughs> I quite like that. So now let's get some features going. So I've got these lovely eyes I can definitely use. There we go. Does that look crazy enough? I think that's a pretty accurate representation of my eyes. Maybe we can put the pine cones in the middle. There we go. It's looking alright, isn't it? So, let's think about my nose. I've got this long piece here. <laughs> Is that too big of a nose? <laughs> Possibly. Possibly too big. <laughs> or maybe not. Maybe not. That will do, wouldn't it? <laughs> so I've broken up some of these twigs. And now we can start making my smile. So we're not generally speaking. I've got a nice big smile. Maybe not so much if I'm doing the forfeit. How's that looking? <laughs> Let's bring these eyes up a little bit. The old smile there. <laughs> a big smile indeed. I think the nose might be a bit too big. I think we might have to dial the nose down a little bit. We'll swap, we'll swap it out. We'll swap it out. I did get this, so let's see if that works. There we go. That's better. That's a lot better. So how's this yeah, looking? So maybe if I get some small leaves and make some eyebrows over here. And I could add the very new addition, which you may have noticed is the moustache. So I could add that as well with some leaves. So let's go with some eyebrows. Get some small ones here. Let's try and make a little moustache. See how it turns out. look a little bit crazy but then I do normally look crazy so it's all good <laughs> that's uh <laughs> I think if you were to Ask someone that will help, you know, <laughs> who, who is this a portrait of? I think immediately that they would say me. Would you agree or disagree? How does that look? <laughs> so 
So for reference, portrait, Kelvin. Portrait, Kelvin. I think they're virtually identical and I'm pretty certain I'm going to win. Here we go. I have my big bag full of treasure from the orchard. I've got some twigs and some more twigs, but these are a bit more feathery. I like these ones. And I did get lots of brown leaves, like these. Everything I got is quite brown, really. I got these lovely straw thingies and some more feathery ones. More leaves. Lots of leaves. Oh, and I got some green ones. I think some of these green ones are going to be my eyes. Maybe a bit of a nose as well. These. And I got some smaller twigs. Yeah, some more brown leaves. And I got, I think, I don't know what I'm going to use this for, but I just really liked it. It's got lots of moss growing on this lovely piece of wood. So, I'm not sure if I will use it or save it, <laughs> just to keep. More twigs, more leaves, more twigs. Oh, well, there's another mossy bit of wood. more leaves. I've got some smaller twigs here. I'll try and keep them a bit separate. I don't know where I can find them. Oh, that's another little leaf I was going to use for a nose. It's fun. Oh, some little bits of wood there. There we go. Right, now I've got a bit of a task ahead of me. I want this to be really good. So let's put some of these things to one side. I know I'm gonna want these to be like hair with my leaves. I'm gonna put my clean twigs all over there and my bits of wood. and nose. Right. Brown leaves all around, that's going to be my hair. And then I'm going to brush all of this dust out of the way. to shake my hair first and I'm going to use these as my hair as well. And just to 
add a bit of texture. hair <laughs> right I need to make some glasses so that everybody knows it's me what am I going to use to make some glasses let's see I think I've got some smallish twigs let's see if I can break these up mm. oh I've got some little eyebrows eyebrows there and then this is going to be my oops right these smallish little twigs are going to be my glasses this picture might end up looking a bit like John Lennon <laughs> not that I look like John Lennon Them. So I'm going to take the stem off of this leaf, there we go, and that's going to be part of my nose. I've got a little green leaf here, so that's one eye. I wonder where my others are, oh here we go, there's another one there and I'm going to make, put this together as part of my nose. And then I need to make a mouth. Hmm. Let's see. What about some of these bits of wood? About this light coloured, this light coloured piece here could be part of my mouth. I need to be smiling though. There we go. <laughs> and to the neck. So I'm going to chop, snap this in half, give myself a neck. Mm, and if I'm going to give myself a neck, I'm going to need to outline my face a little bit. See if I can arrange these leaves a bit better. Oh, bit of moss. That could go in my hair as well. Oh, I wonder what Kelvin's looks like. I wonder what he found in the playground. 
going to put some of these straw bits in in my hair as well. Put that down. What a mess. <laughs> Kelvin's is much neater than mine. I bet. Mm, that's a bit too muddy. Lots of texture in the hair. And bits of straw, some leaves, some of these branches with really lovely texture on them. So, yeah. So, I think I might be done. I wonder if it's enough. I'll just clean it up a little bit. Now it's time for a close-up, so you can have a look at all the things that I collected that I used in my self-portrait. All of the lovely textures and colours, a big grin there. my feathery hair there you go now I really like it but is it enough to win we shall see now it's time to see what the judges think and that's that now I'm definitely done I can't touch it anymore because I'll just mess it up Let's see what the judges think. Hi everyone. Now you see, Vicky's self-portrait, and I, I, I liked because, for one thing, you can clearly tell that it was Vicky. The, 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 the nice leaves that made the wavy hair and the twigs that, that made up her glasses and so yeah i liked the way that you could actually tell looking at that picture looking at vicky that was a self-portrait well kelvin's one was a very good because he was kind of mixed materials so we had a bit of green ivy in there we had some fantastic yellow donut shaped eyes um, a nose made out of a piece of wood um, yeah, and the whole head that was made with a blue hula hoop. Who would think of it? I think the self-portrait that just squeaked through by the tiniest margin was Kelvin's because it had all those lovely colours in it. Hello everyone, I'm Sam. You may have seen me floating around fixing and building things here at Elham. 
Uh, so after looking at both the self-portraits, I really like them both, and it was quite tough. Um, Kelvin's use of colour, of whatever he found floating about here at Hellhead was great. Uh, and his, both of them had fantastic attention to detail. Uh, for example, Vicky's long hair and glasses, and Kelvin's up-to-date moustache. I think he spotted that, right? But just because one of them used natural things that you'd find in a forest, to be guessed, it's Vicky. I think hers just, just was ever so slightly better, in my opinion. everybody um well I've got Vicky's one here and I really like the hair and I absolutely love the glasses I think it's a, a great creation um I find it quite interesting it's very colorful I like are they polo mints on the eyes they look like polos to me um I like the blue moon of the face um a very colourful effort. Well, it was a really hard decision this week because they're both really good. They're both quite different. But um, as Kelvin's one was very colourful, I thought it stood out. So this week I'm choosing Kelvin. Who's there? Theodore. Theodore who? Theodore wasn't open, so I knocked. <laughs> <laughs> what do you call a cheese that isn't yours? Mm, what do I call a cheese that isn't mine? Nacho cheese. Oh, no. Oh. Knock, knock. Who's there? Aitch. I chew. Oh. oh, thank you very much. Woo! Woo, 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 woo. <laughs> See you next week, everybody. Bye. Hope you enjoy the video, everyone. Uh, and hopefully see you all soon. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Bye, everyone. See you soon.